Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Thank you for the opportunity. What I would like to share with you briefly is some thoughts on four, on four different boxes. Uh, I would like to speak about what is the box, what is on the outside, what is the inner box, and how this fits uh, to the here and now. Uh, in other wor words, I want to speak about the box of um, a person like Thomas Kuhn, the box of Martin Heidegger, uh, the box of Eckhart Tolle or the Dalai Lama, if you want, and also the box of uh, Jose Manuel Barroso and Angela Merkel, so that we will get to, to some practical uh, thoughts uh, in the end. So the first box, what is in the box? What is the box all about? It's about the fact that the world is a complex place. Daniel was uh, speaking about this. And to reason about this complexity, we invent concepts. We invent them, we don't discover them. We create abstractions, we create theories, ontologies, sciences are full of that. These are the basis of science. And then we detach from this world. And we live inside these theories, inside these models, inside these uh, abstractions. And here I come to the box of Thomas Kuhn. He said, these things are the conceptual boxes, I quote, into which the scientists, by a rather strenuous and devoted attempt, force nature into. This works for a long time. But at some point, the box does not fit anymore. The tools in the box are inappropriate for what you want to describe that is out there. And you need to go out of the box. You have to create a new paradigm, new perspective, new conceptualization. Uh, what Thomas Kuhn was called, uh, would call, you need a paradigm shift. Um, and here we come to the box of, of Martin Heidegger. What he was trying to answer throughout his life was to this, the answer to this simple question. What exists? What is out there? And his answer was that we choose what exists. That the concepts are not there by themselves, but that we choose to recognize something as a mountain, something as a river, something as a lake, and so on. We choose to think of that particular, particular quantity of matter as a discrete object because it is useful to us. We choose what exists and what does not exist. And at some point we forgot, we forget, that it was our choice what we decided to put in front of us as an object of study. And when we forget that, this means that we are locked into the box, into this box that this conference is trying to get uh, out of. Of course, humans can act intelligently in areas where we don't have boxes, where we don't have models, where we don't have theories, you don't have to have a PhD in physics to throw a ball that would hit uh, the basket in a basketball game. You don't need a PhD in structural mechanics to hammer a nail into, uh, into the wall. It works. We create these theories, we create these boxes, uh, basically in order so that also the stupid can follow some recipes, can follow some theories, uh, and do the right thing. Animals, on the other hand, they do the right thing by instinct. They do the right thing by being, as, as some philosophers would say, by being one uh, in the world. But humans have an op option. We can be rational, we can work with the tools of the box, or we can be uh, pre-rational. And in this sense, uh, Heidegger is a bridge to those um, that preach, that preach oneness, like Eckhart Tolle, that preach being one with everything, like uh, the Dalai Lama. Um, this is very similar to uh, this Heidegger's notion of uh, being in the world, being connected with what is out there, not living in a certain theory, in a certain uh, conceptualization. Which brings me to the third box, the box of Eckhart Tolle. Um, he liked to tell a story about a beggar who was sitting on a box and he was asking the passers-by for money. And then one passerby said, well, I can give you money, but why don't you look what is inside this box? Um, and the beggar said, look, I'm, I'm sitting here for the last 10 years. I've never looked what is inside this box. Um, and he said, well, open it. He opened up the box, and the beggar noticed that it was full of gold. And this is a kind of a uh, parable 
to describe, to denote uh, the box that we have inside, all the values that we have inside, uh, and of course that we can make a great uh, value uh, with. And finally, the fourth box, uh, probably the less um, pleasant one. Uh, Jose Manuel Barroso at one point said, we live in extraordinary times, and extraordinary times need extraordinary solutions. This also means getting out of the box, getting out of the, of the usual. What is extraordinary about the world today? It's extraordinary that the problem is the depth of the sovereign countries. It is extraordinary that the debt of a sovereign country is not a safe debt. It used to be the safest investment that you could make. You would buy a bond issued by a government of Spain, Greece, Portugal, uh, etc. It is extraordinary that we got used to living beyond our means. Um, it is extraordinary that we don't know where the growth will be coming from. There are a whole lot of things happening in the world that we don't have um, the answers about. We don't have an answer to the automation and abundance, to the rise of the BRICS, to climate change and energy problems, to demography, to e-communication. Existing tools in the policy box are not good enough anymore. And policies, polit politics is looking for new solutions, is looking for solutions that go beyond the existing toolbox um, as well. And also in the field of research and education, um, the tools in the box may not be good enough anymore. It used to be true when I was studying, when Daniel was studying, when most of you were studying. Well, if you get a university education, you would get a white-collar um, job. Uh, you would get a job that will last you until retirement. It will be well paid. Not true anymore. Yes, we still know that good education is important, but is not a guarantee for a, a good and happy life. And just throwing money uh, into the existing toolbox is not uh, is not uh, the only possible solution. After all, we have been doing this for decades, and still uh, we are finding that the tools in the box are not good enough. So we need to grow out of the box as well. We need new tools to put into the box. We need new paradigms, we need new business models, we need new funding mechanisms. And we need to tap into the inner boxes uh, of the people. We need to tap deeper into their curiosity, into their creativity, into their entrepreneurship. So also in the policy of education, science, and research, research, we need to go out of the box. We need to look beyond what the current patterns um, are. The fact is that few European governments today have the money just to throw at the problem, that the money would be the only solution of the problem. But I promise you this, we will always find money for solutions that take us out of the box. Um, there are a couple of recipes I found on a Lifehacker website uh, as to how to get out of the box. Among the others uh, are that one should uh, study another industry. We can always find good examples in other industries. Higher education is not a sui generis concept that it would not be similar to anything. Ask a child for advice, or a young person, or a newcomer in the field. This is where new ideas come from, because children are not boxed in. Newcomers in a field are not boxed into the paradigms of that particular field. Read a novel of an unfamiliar gener. Um, I was reading Anthem by Ayn Rand, for example, lately, and it's, it's pretty frightening. Take a shower. This is, some people say this is the, most, the best thing that you can do for getting out of the box, for getting creative, uh, etc. Learn about another religion, or l learn about religion before you learn about uh, another one. And if I look at this list, I think all except this, the, the showers will be part of this conference. And therefore, I congratulate uh, Daniel, I congratulate the University of Maribor for putting together such an impressive list of speakers, such, an, such a good topic. Um, and I really uh, envy you that um, you will be able um, to be part of this conference. Unfortunately, I will uh, not be, but I wish you a pleasant stay in Slovenia and a lot of creative out-of-the-box uh, ideas. We need them. Thank you.